Borderlands the pre-sequel helped to shape the events of what would happen between Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2 and basically shape the events of Borderlands 2 as a whole. It came out October 14th, 2014 and after 10 years now we're going to be jumping back into this pre Sequel to Borderlands 2, sequel to Borderlands 1, as you can tell by the title, the pre-sequel. And for a lot of Borderlands community members, they're not a huge fan of the pre-sequel. Me, I'm kind of indifferent about it. It's an alright game, and I like the storyline, but other than that, it's not too much. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into Borderlands the pre-sequel and see if it still holds up after 10 years. got some explaining to do, Tiger. Trained from childhood as an Atlas assassin with over a thousand successful jobs to your name. Damn near killed my two best men before they brought you in. She said we're her best men. That makes me feel good. Ow. Here's how it is, Athena. I'm gonna ask you a single question. And if I don't like your answer, you will die. Aim at the prisoner. Now, I will ask you this only once. Why? That is a long story. After the fall of General Knox, I wandered Pandora as a hired gun. One day, I received a job offer from a low-level Hyperion programmer. Come to the moon, it said. Hunt a vault, be a hero. I didn't trust Hyperion, but I was too hungry to pass up a paying job. And what did you find? Violence, insanity, and a hero. Alright, here we are inside of Borderlands the Priest and about Borderlands games in my opinion. Let's try to grab as much ammo. Now this <laughs> takes place between Borderlands 1 and 2, like I said inside of the intro. So it's a little bit different. Kinda like sums up everything that happened by the beginning of Borderlands 2, so that we kinda get like a more of an appearance of why things are like that in that game. Did you use this? Here, let me open this door. Open for me, oh door. Jack, just around the corner. Let's go. Lots leads and are really making a mess of this place. On, pick up the ammo. Oh yeah, I forgot. Hyperion robots are on our side. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's get to Jack. The Lost Legion must have killed this one. People think robots can't feel pain, but we actually feel it in slow motion with great intensity. This robot died in horrific anger. Now you're dead. That's awesome. That ball doesn't say hi. This is me. Let's tear some stuff up. The bandit who kills bandits. Uh, I'm especially looking forward to knowing you better. You need to just casually first. Help! Lots of help! I got no idea who these asshole troops are or why they got a murder on for this space station, but they got me pinned. Forward! Take them out! They're beating him up. Hyperion, your Helio space station now belongs to the Lost League. Surrender before it is Got your number. How about we don't surrender, or you surrender, and we go home safely? That sounds like a good trade, I think. And now we finally got our shield. Level up. Amount of health you have. Yada yada yada. Shield inflicted damage. Really. It leaves bullets until it depletes. When it does, you gotta hide and give it time to recharge. Hey, just let me activate the defense controls. A few seconds, we'll have turrets, force fields, laser wires. <laughs> These assholes won't know what hit them. Critical failure. Helios defense systems are being jammed. What? Jamming signal originates from Elton, Pandora's moon. Oh crap, kill the turrets, kill the turrets! Well, are you gonna help me, Jack, or are you just gonna stand around? I know he actually is helping, kind of. Oh, this day gets better and better. All right, plan B. We can't take Helios back, we need to evacuate. Escape ships are this way. We must take this ground. Who's the crazy chick? I don't know, she leads these jackasses, I think. I don't know, but the first person to shoot her in the head gets a high five in the turbo mansion. Alright, let me get to this door. The escape ships are nearby. That went well. Oh, perfect. She destroyed the ships. We gotta find another way out the station. What was up with that freaky alien? Uh, no idea, but I get the feeling it could kill us with its brain, so, you know, uh, <laughs> keep running. Jack, what the hell is going on? I'm getting reports of alarms all across Helios. Nothing, sir. Nothing. Everything's fine. Just, uh, one of the claptrap units tried to French kiss a light socket, sir. 
I remind you that you are there to observe Pandora, nothing more. If you incur any damages to the Helios space station, I will personally... Oh, sorry, sir, we're losing connection. I can't... Uh, sorry. What? I called you an asshole because I thought I'd hung up. My bad. We will speak again, John. There's Elpis. That friggin' jamming signal is somewhere down on that cracked rock messing up all the cool security stuff up here. Look how beautiful that moon looks. Let's go, Jack. Space station. Ow. Yeah, shield's doing pretty good. Thanks for asking, Jack. What are these maniacs doing? We don't even have a real military up here. They're just murdering workers and us if we don't move it. They're crazy, Jack. What do you expect? Oh. Come on, Jack, move it. Okay, well, I've got a stupid idea. We're gonna head to that moonshot cannon. Follow me. So what's this moonshot cannon you were talking about? Basically a huge gun that shoots supplies down to the moon's surface, like at about a thousand miles. We're gonna get in one of those containers and escape that way. That sounds pretty cool. We gonna die. I don't know. Be a pretty cool way to die, though, huh? Stop shooting at the hot... Oh, we got our first skill point. We get a three in this game. I forgot about that. We now have our special ability. I wonder what it is. I think it's dual wielding, kind of like the Gunzerker is in Borderlands 2. I'll take all these and sell them later. Oh, it's like an aimbot and thing. What the hell? I have suspicions. Money, revenge. That said, whoever needed a reason out here. Big plans with heat. Uh, kill that guy, I guess. His health is halfway down already. Oh, he's dead. Dead. What the hell is he? He said he's out of his suit. Where the hell did he go? Something's 
jamming the elevator up there. Report. Let me figure something out. All right, weird idea. Uh, let me work the loading terminal. Okay, so do your thing, Jack. What the hell is this loader doing? That'll be a hell of a fall. Thanks for the warning, guy. Yeah. Second largest bullet I've ever been in. Hold on, I'm gonna spin the cylinder. Did you make it up there? Free up the elevator so I can join you. You got wedged in tight. Eh, no big deal though, they can't feel pain. Just bash them out of there. All oh, these loaders bum me out. It's no wonder Dahl took us over so easily. I need more soldiers. Badasses. Like you. And that is why we're here. <laughs> Woo! We made it! Right, we just gotta get into a moonshot. A breed of Hyperion shall not after we kill this asshole. Out of fun. He's dead. Alright, that's twice you've saved my life. Uh now we just gotta Oh, for what the the auto shot controls are damaged. Stay back and launch the pods manually. I'd suggest Nisha, but you're way too pretty to die. That kind of stuff doesn't work on me, cowboy. Alright, new plan. I'll stay behind. I need you down on the moon. You gotta find that jamming signal and shut it down. Otherwise, we'll never get control of the moon base and we can kiss that vault goodbye. You sure about this? Probably gonna die up here. Now you saved my life a couple of times, I'm repaying the favor. Besides, I'm a hero, baby. Self-sacrifice is part of the job. Oh, good, a health machine. I had one put in here after a worker had an accident and uh, lost his torso. Better heal up before your trip down to the moon. <laughs> Might wanna grab some ammo too. Supplies over here. We need to get a uh, shot container up here. Oh, right, I got full ammo. Never mind. Supplies, but this time, you're the cargo. All right, Jack, go ahead. Do you think? All right, let's go. There he is! Open fire! Oh, crap.
Sage, you're about to die. You okay? Well, I can answer that. You're not okay. The second you open this door, all the oxygen is gonna bend and you're gonna suffocate. It'll hurt a lot and your eyes will pop like grapes when the pressure differential gets too harsh. So, here's my plan. When you're ready, open the door and follow me to my oxygen bubble. Sound good? Don't answer. Conserve your oxygen. All right. Come on, open the door. Everybody good? Nice to meet ya. I'm Janie Springs, junk dealer. Who are you? Nisha. The outlaw bandit killer. I've heard of you. So what are you doing here? Need to get back to that big H in the sky. But there's a jamming signal somewhere on the moon. Got to bust that first or we'll just get kicked out again. A jamming signal? Haven't noticed anything like that. You might want to get to Concordia, a little city run by a fella called the Merif. Got to be somebody there who can help you. You'll need an O2 kit, Oz kits we call them, to survive the journey though. I've got some broken ones stashed nearby, but I can repair them for you. Even if you ain't the breathing type, you'll be glad you've got an Oz kit. Head to these coordinates and clear the place out. All right, let's go this way to go grab ourselves an Oz kit. Yep. Then with this game too, in the other borderlands, you don't have to worry about your oxygen level, of course, but because you're on the moon in this, it's a very crucial part of the game. That building needs to be in one piece and not lava adjacent. Till the crackening, anyway. You gotta actually like, jump up and hit him. Take it. All right, fine. Come all the way over here then. Neato Leads a band of scavengers, scavs, who used to raid the old Dahl dig site. 
Colonel Zarpadon imprisoned them, but they escaped when Dale's digging sucked the moon. Did you say Zarpadon? Anyway, he's got the Digistruct key for my Zoomy stations. Killing him will get you to Concordia and make my week. Win-win! Looking for work? I got something. I need you to help me. Posters. Huh? Did my accent throw you off? I meant to say, I need y'all to help me fix up some inspirational posters, y'all. Donuts, cowboys, homophobia. They sell like hotcakes on the black market, and I've already run out of kitten posters. Head to one of my jump pads. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end today's episode right there for the pre-sequel. So, anyways, this game, honestly, I don't think it's too bad. I think it was a pretty good game. A lot of people are not big fans of the pre-sequel, but I thought it was a pretty good game overall. Uh, if you guys liked the pre-sequel, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys played it back when it first came out. It was both a 360 and a, of course, a next-gen title for the Borderlands franchise. And... We're going to go ahead and end it there. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. We'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, and remember to stay timeless.